right, everybody, this is Ira, and look where I am, my friends! Look where I am, I'm back in Vintage Story. It has been a while since I played Vintage Story. Uh, it has been a while since I did any content on Vintage Story. We had a Simpleton server, that's my, that's my uh, content creators group, you, the, the Simpletons. Um, and we had a server for Vintage Story, unfortunately it had some issues and it went down. We're having trouble kind of trying to find another place to put up a server. We are working on it, we do want to have a server up for people to play on, because it's, this, this is a really fun game to play together. Um, but a new version has recently come out. This is version 1.10.5 now. It's the latest hotfix for the 1.10, and it added all kinds of crazy new stuff. It added uh, a whole bunch of food preservation things and stuff. We can now pickle foods, we can make jam, we can make cellars, uh, food will rot. Um, you, can, you can wash the dishes. If the food in the dishes rots and you throw it in the water, then the rot comes off and you get a clean dish back. There's just all those little details. Man, I'm telling you folks. That's why I love this game so much. Um, and I decided, you know what, I'm gonna jump in in a single player world and just check it out. Just check out these new features and things. Um, and I came in, and oh my goodness, the cat is scratching my chair. Okay, <laughs> I've just had to uh, reassure the cat that I will play with him as soon as I'm finished recording this video. <laughs> Poor guy. Um, where was I? Yes, uh, I, I jumped into this new world. I wasn't planning on making a video. Um, I wasn't planning on recording anything. I just wanted to jump in and take a look around and explore the mechanics. But one of the things that uh, they had said was improved with this new version is the lighting and the colors. Apparently there was some kind of bug in the lighting engine previously, which they hadn't noticed, which made everything kind of more washed out and it made everything harder on the eyes. So all this time that I was playing the game and I was always like, why does it always seem too dim? Why does it always seem like I'm straining my eyes to play this game? It wasn't me. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy, my friends. Matter of fact, let me just, I'm not crazy. Yay, I'm not crazy. Uh, the game was actually like that, and I've, I've looked at some screenshots of the game previously, and then when I loaded the game up this time, I instantly saw the difference, and I hope that you folks can too. I know that YouTube compression tends to make things look less pretty, but I mean, just, just look at this starting location. Let me jump back into my body here. Ooh, there we go. Um, obviously the interface has been upgraded. There's more of a kind of tutorial, like, showing you if you have a knife or a scythe. And you left click on this, you can collect it. Um, I am starting in a shale biome. Shale is my favorite stone to build with, and I usually have trouble finding it, but here it is right at my start. Um, let's go and look at, I mean, obviously the colors are more vivid. Go, go and take a look at one of my previous Vintage Story videos. The water has been improved dramatically. Look at this. Just, I mean, I think if I jump in like this, and I move, you can see the bubbles. Look at the bubbles, and there's like uh, foam around the edges here where it's hitting the shore. Like, all those little visual details are just getting better and better. It is amazing. I love it. Uh, so I decided, you know what? It's been a while since I did Vintage Story. I'm gonna go ahead and record some more Vintage Story. Why not? Why don't I just record my first uh, bit of, of playing in this new world and exploring? Uh, I did notice, by the way, uh, I have, by the way, I have uh, modified the game a little bit. I modified the game a little bit. I made... I just went in and I made all of the aggressive mobs. Uh, the only thing I changed about them was that I made them track you from a, a shorter distance. So you have to get within five blocks of any aggressive mob before it will attack you. That's just for my own peace of mind. I'm not playing this game for anxiety. I'm playing this game uh, to relax. But over here, there's this huge ruin that looks like I can just start off right here. I got my own little starter base pre-made for me by the game. Thank you so much, game. That was very kind of you. You didn't have to do that. You didn't have to, but I appreciate that you did. We've got mature flax here, which I'll come back and grab in a bit. I gotta prioritize, of course. I gotta find some flint, we gotta make some tools, we gotta go through the whole process. Uh, the bushes have been changed a little bit. You says right click to harvest. It used to be you just clicked it and you instantly harvested. Now you have to hold down the button and then you pull the berries off. Just that little extra bit of immersion, I think. I like that. I'm a bit hungry, actually. Let's eat some of these. Let's eat some of these berries. Uh, also, the day and the night have been doubled in length. Now, at first I was like, eee, double length, I don't know about that. And then I thought about it and I realized, that means your first day, you have twice as much time to get ready for the night. And then by the time the night comes, you can have stuff to do in your base. So you don't need to uh, panic so much on the first day. Slate sand, shale sand, this is beautiful! I love these colors, look at this! We've got age logs, we've got this like full-on proper base. It's got some skulls in the walls. It's a little bit creepy, but you know what? I think we're going to be fine with that. We can dig this out. I bet there's probably loot in here as well. Seems likely. Um, and we'll be able to fortify this by nighttime. Got loose flint. Yes. 
Who's Flint right here? So this is Slate. So we have Slate and Shale, which are two different colors of black, which I love. I love that. I love those dark colors for building with. What do we got here? Ore. I'm going to leave that for now. I don't need ore at the moment. What I need is some starter tools. So let's find a bit more Flint. I also want to go up and take a look. Oh no. Oh no, the cat. <laughs> Sorry, folks. That was probably a bit, a bit of a... a Confusing oh no right there. What is she upset about? Um, the cat is swatting at my arm with his claws. He really wants me to play with him. I may even have to take a break forage. Uh, this might be useful now, actually. We got, oh, filled bee nades. <laughs> Let's not throw those. Flax fibers, fire clay. All right, not what I need at the moment. Um, oh, it's just, it's just so beautiful. Oh my goodness, shale there. I don't want to go through the water. I do still, I still dislike that the music stops sometimes. I, I, there's a, a slider in the settings, let me show you, where you can say how often you want the music to play. You can say often, sometimes, or rarely. If I have it all the way up, that means I want music all the time, dang it. I want, as soon as one song ends, I want you to put on the next song. I wonder if there's a way to mod that. I wonder if I go into the configuration somewhere, if there's some way that I can change that so that as soon as the song ends, the next one plays, because I don't like playing in silence. It makes, me, it makes me feel sad. Here we go, we got some more flint. Some loose flint there. I do want to go over and take a look at those mountains, too. And I feel like I've got extra time now. I've got more time than uh, previously to, to, to get myself settled in the first day. At the same time, probably shouldn't, I probably shouldn't faff about too much. Should probably get down to business a little bit. I am gonna live in that that spot over there. I'd like to get as much flint as I can to start with. I know sometimes you can find flint embedded in rock and stuff, so maybe if I go over to those hills. Now, of course, in a pure vanilla experience, those hills would be dangerous because they're probably full of wolves. Wee! I think you still don't have to breathe, which is great. You can just hang out at the bottom of the ocean if you want to. Um, Look at the color difference between the low fertility and the medium fertility soil. I keep thinking I see high fertility soil because the colors are just so much more vivid. Uh, but I see this orange this orange stone here, and I want to see what this is because that is really, really pretty. I'm so glad that I have that as a view. Like, I have got the perfect starting location here for me, specifically. Oh, it's a little bunny! <laughs> Hello, little bunny! Oh, bunnies are actually bad now. Uh, bunnies, I don't think bunnies were in the last time I did a video. I did, I did do a bit of a playthrough on my own. Just a single player in my spare time, didn't feel like recording a playthrough um, of the previous version, 1.9, which... Ooh, copper. Oh, I'm gonna need that, but I don't have inventory right now, so I'm just gonna try to remember that that's here. Um, is that high fertility? It's only medium fertility. Oh my goodness, what's the high fertility gonna look like if it's this rich? <gasps> Is that, is that another huge ruin over there? Oh my gosh. All right, what stone is this? Is this, this is bauxite. Interesting. Oh, what is bauxite for? It's so pretty. I love the color. I love all the colors, my friends. Oh, I'm all about colors over here. Okay. I gotta go and take a look at that other ruin over there now. I'm never gonna get anything done. and I'm gonna wind up outside being chased by drifters in the middle of the night. This is what's gonna happen. Uh, those rabbits, actually, they're not rabbits, they're hares. Sorry, my mistake. Uh, hares are actually bad news, because they will get into your crops, and they'll eat your crops. So you have to protect your crops from the hares. Um, very important. Very important. You don't want your food getting eaten, because then you go back to harvest it, and you're like, Oh no! My food is all gone. Uh, it did happen to me a couple of times before I figured out the best way to do it. And then there was a bug in the previous version where the hares could spawn on farmland. So if you didn't have anything planted on it, sometimes the hares would just appear in your in your farm plots inside the fences. Borax. Oh, actually, we've got this. Is it H? Yes. If I type borax. The last time I played, they had added a whole bunch of new stuff um, that hadn't really fully been implemented yet. Yeah, see, we've got this, but it looks like it can't be used for anything. So, it's just kind of there, uh, which is a shame. Uh, I found a whole bunch of ores and stuff underground, like, a lot of different types of ores, which could not be even smelted into bars or anything. This looks like the same ruin, again, over here. Now, I might be, this, this whole area might be, like, a ruined town, a ruined village, a ruined city, whichever, whichever it is. Uh, those were added in the last version. Tools! Yes! Give me tools. What do we got? What do we got for tools? Um, shovel, knife, shovel. I need the knife. 
knife is good. Are there any? Is there anything else here that I was not able to pick up? I don't think so. Okay, because I, I can throw down this clay and the the uh, flax and stuff like that if I need to. Um, but yeah, you can you can find these sort of half buried towns, and you can dig them up. You can play archaeologist, and it looks like I may have been fortunate to start. Or okay, I don't need that now. I may have been fortunate enough to start in an area like that, because I see a lot of little ruins around here. So once I'm settled, I can actually set up. Uh, oh, this is probably an even better place to start out, because I don't have to dig the whole thing out. Well, I'll have to fill in the water. Let's start... oh. I don't need this fire clay. Whoops, no, I need... I, <laughs> I didn't mean to throw you. I'm so sorry, Reeds. Get you back. There we go. Um, there's, there's too much to process. There's too much exciting stuff going on here. And again, look at the foam. Look at the bubbles lapping against the reeds here. Oh, this is, this is so great. So once I'm settled, and I've got a food, and I've made my cellar, so all my food stays stays fresh, um, we, can, we can play archaeologist here. And I can dig up this whole village and restore it. This is so exciting. Okay. Oh, we move so slow through the water, though. Uh, do I have enough to make? I do. There we go. Now we can put some of this stuff, not much of it, a little bit of it. I'm gonna leave the clay, actually. There's tons of clay all over the place. I don't need that. Let's go get some more reeds. Let's head back over. Wait, there's another one here. <laughs> Too many distractions. Can't be expected to deal with this. Come on now, you people met me. There's too many shinies. There's too many cutes. There's too many pretties. Oh, here we go. Ore. Okay, I don't need ore yet. Hopefully there'll be some good ore in there later when I am ready to actually make use of ore. Get my food. I am, I am getting hungry again. Now, we do have a, uh, a system, I think this was there before, of uh, nutrition. So as, as these fill up, your maximum HP should increase. But um, I wasn't really happy with the way it worked in the previous version. I may have been updated now, so we'll see about that. But I felt like it decreased too quickly, so no matter what you ate, you could never quite keep your nutrition full. You could never quite get the, the proper maximum HP, which was a little fr Look at all these particles. Oh my goodness. I want, I want to remind everyone. I am playing this game in full screen at full resolution, the 19, 1920 by 1080, I think is what it is. Resolution. And I am using OBS to capture this footage in full HD at full resolution. It's not being downscaled. Um, and it's still, I am not getting even the slightest bit of frame lag. There is no stuttering. Uh, I'm, I'm not having any frame drops at all. It's just like, it's, it's running perfectly smoothly. And I hope that the video will look just as smooth as it, as it feels when I'm playing it. This game runs so well. And I, I have a decent computer. No doubt about that. But, uh, my video card is, 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 is really getting a bit old. Like, I even found a few of the newer games won't run on my video card, because it's just not the best. Is that? Oh, I see copper right there as well. Excellent, excellent! I gotta remember where all these bits of copper are. Okay, this is... Yeah, I'll remember where this is. Oh, there's no chance that I'm gonna remember where this is. But I feel like I will, and that's important, right? Now, is the sun going down already? Is the day really that short? I feel like that went by too quickly. I did spend a bunch of time talking, didn't I? Um, I suppose what I should do is I should find a patch of clay, get a whole bunch of clay, and then go and, uh... Is this? No, that's peat. I don't need peat, I need clay. Is clay less common now? I know some things have been made less common. I think iron has been made considerably less common, which I'm not a huge fan of. Get No, I only got the seed. Dang it! I wanted, I wanted some food. A little bit worried about having enough food to get through my first night. I mean, I should be fine, I suppose. Uh, I'm going to want a whole bunch of clay, and I'm going to want some soil. I suppose I should just collect some soil now so that I can barricade myself into my new home for the first night. Now, I would also like some wood, of course, for a campfire, but I don't have an axe yet. I don't think I'm going to manage that before the first night. So I'm just going to have to sit in the dark. I'll turn the gamma up. But uh, I'll probably I'll probably skip the night for uh, for the video's purposes. You people don't need to see me. Come on, you don't need to see me sitting alone in the dark. 
if I can get some clay, and I can use the night time to make some uh, some molds so that I can start. Oh, that shovel's dead already. Uh, I did modify the tools so that they all work with maximum speed. So they basically all work as fast as a steel tool. However, I did not touch the durability. So the stone tools are going to break just as quickly as they ever would. But uh, for the sake of my wrist, remember I do have a, a uh, repetitive strain injury. I have chronic tendonitis in both of my wrists. And holding down the mouse button is a very, very bad thing for me to do. So I um, am reducing that as much as possible. All right, that should be plenty of dirt. Why don't I see any clay? I'm going to have nothing to do all night if I don't find some clay real quick. What? <laughs> that didn't happen. I meant to do that. You saw nothing. <laughs> I could look at the map, I suppose. The map usually shows clay pretty clearly. Oh, wait, there's some over there. I see some clay. I gotta be quick. I gotta be quick. I gotta run. There it is. Forgot you have to hold down control to run in this game. You can't just double tap forward like in Minecraft. I have been playing Minecraft. I've been playing uh, Regrowth, actually. Oh, dang it. All right, let's get as much as I can by hand. This is not gonna be enough. <laughs> Shouldn't have wasted my shovels on all that dirt, should I? Well, well, what can you do? Mistakes were made. Sometimes we make mistakes, all of us. We gotta, we gotta acknowledge our mistakes, we gotta learn from them, we gotta move on. I mean, the nighttime shouldn't be super dangerous. Actually, no! What am I worried about, my friends? What am I worried about? Look at this. Four days left before monsters begin to appear. I forgot! The first few days you get a bit of a grace period in this game. You don't need to, you don't need to, to desperately rush off. Okay, I am, I am noticing one issue though. I don't have a lot of trees around here. I need some sticks so that I can make some tools. There's not going to be any drifters tonight. None whatsoever. I am curious to see what the night is going to look like. What's this? Shale gravel. Oh, I love it. By the way, uh, if you are playing this, this latest, but latest version, I keep forgetting I can do that. Um, uh, I completely lost track of what I was saying, my friends. <laughs> if you're playing this latest version, something, something, it'll come back to me eventually. Uh, I need sticks. Sticks, please. Branchy leaves. Yes, these ones. Oh, look at this. They sway in the breeze. They do have that sort of... Oh. Oh, I got a sapling. I was like, why do I have... I thought I had a leaf block. I was like, wait a minute, there are no leaf blocks in this game. You can't harvest leaf blocks in this game. I don't need that. I don't need the vines. Go away. Sorry. Sorry, I don't mean to make you feel unloved. But I have very limited inventory space right now. I suppose I could take some of those uh, reeds and make uh, more storage. But I think I'd rather use those to make baskets for... For my home. Mm -hmm. How many how many sticks have I got here? I've got third. That's enough for all the tools I need to make for now. I need to make um, well, I need to make an axe, and we need to get some wood, right? So we can make a campfire. And now I'm thinking, you know, it would be easier to live in this spot because I don't have to clean it out as much. But the other one, frankly, has a better view. I think. I'm gonna wander back this way. Shale stones. There we go. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get a sense of the, uh, the difference. Ooh, the difference in color. I think the slate is darker. Yeah. Oh, I love, I love more building materials. That is one of the main complaints that I've had about this game. Soybeans. Okay. Uh, is that there are a whole bunch of building blocks available. They're in the game, but there's no way to craft or obtain them in survival mode. They're only available for use in creative mode, which I've never understood why they would put all those beautiful blocks and put in the effort to creating those blocks and then uh, not make them available for us to play with. People in creative mode are not the only people who want to make things pretty. Am I right, my friends? Now, it is true that you can mod in recipes for them, but I honestly don't have the time to do that. <laughs> That's what it really comes down to. I don't have the time. Where's my... 
Where's my ruin? It is a, it is dark now. I'm trying to do this without turning up the gamma. Oh, it's over there. Okay. Everything's fine, my friends. We've got it. And we do have a bit of a forest over here. So that's good. Got some trees available. Oop. Oh, that was my first frame drop. I did just have my very first frame drop. And it is, what, 22 minutes in of recording this. So that's pretty, pretty okay, I think. All right, here we go. I think this is going to be my home. I like it here. Can we see the mountains? We can see some of the mountains from here. At some point I'll have to go and put lanterns all over the mountains once I have... Once I'm rich. <laughs> some rich and famous. Can I get in here? Get in. Let's get in this way. There we go. <laughs> oh, put that back. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to have to dig this out, but I like this location. I like this location better than the other one. Oh, can I get out? Here we go. Right here. So yeah, it is, it is tough to see. Oh, I see a hair. Did you folks just catch that? I just saw a hair. There's more ruins around here. If I... Does my macro still work? Oh! Apparently the gamma was turned up already. And now I'm concerned that I may have ruined the light. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, it doesn't look as nice now. What, uh, what happened? What did I do? What, what was it set to before? It was higher than that, wasn't it? Oh no, I think I just made the old lighting, old lighting come back. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look into this. Mm. I think I borked it, my friends. I think I borked it. I think using that gamma command just to reset some of the lighting stuff to its previous uh, version somehow, because it is definitely not as vivid and bright and pretty as it was before. So I'm gonna have to look into that after I finish recording this video. Um, and see if I can figure out how to make it look pretty again. I'm sad now. I just I just ruined my beautiful experience. And I'm getting the ice train immediately. I can immediately feel the difference now. Um, so I will look into that. I will look into that and see if I can get that fixed up. In any case, uh, we're pretty much running out of time now anyway. We are. The, the moon is rising. I have some work to do. But uh, I, will, I will get the lighting fixed and then I'll come back and... If you folks like this, if you want to see more of the new version of Vintage Story, uh, leave a comment. Let me know. Tell me you want to, you want this to be a series. I don't know. I, m mainly, I just wanted to show off how beautiful the game is now. <laughs> I'm not doing a good job of it right at this moment. Um, there we are. Standing in front of my new home in my now more washed out and, and sad looking place. <laughs> we'll get it fixed up. We will. We'll definitely get it fixed up. Um, so yeah, if you want to see more of the new version and you want to see my progression and stuff, I probably won't show everything because it'll get a little bit grindy and repetitive. But I can check in every now and then and make a video for you folks and just show you some of the new features. I think it's really, really cool. Um, thank you so much for watching. As I always say, I really appreciate all you people coming and hanging out with me and enjoying this, this very beautiful thing with me. You're great. I love all of you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!